Yeah, I mean, we don't know about any, we haven't known about any issues with that. Alright, um, I just started it, so. Okay. Uh. Do you want to email CVS off your email? Do you have a. Sounds like Alabama had a chance to. <laughs> oh, it was first and goal at the five yard line. And then they blew it up. And that, was, that would have taken the lead, right? Because it's 29.4. Yeah. So is it just CBS that CBS interacted? That's not like Should be up there. So who, who did AM lost to LSU, right? Florida. Lost to Florida. Alright, it's a. Uh Check, 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 check.
Yeah, I saw him. He was really excited.
Mic check, mic check, mic check, one, two, one, two, one, two. Are you listening? Check, check, one, two, one, two, three, four, five. Press conference mic, press conference mic. Check, check, check. One, two, three, four, five. Press conference mic. Press conference mic. One, two, three, four, five. Testing one, testing two. Check, 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 check. Come on. Press conference mic, fail. press conference mic. One, two, three, four. Ooh, ooh, don't touch that. Is that good enough? Yeah, totally fine. I don't know. It's not falling right now. No, yeah. Wait. Well, when Mark gets in. Testing.
uh, Garrett and Marcus coming as well, but uh, we can get a couple in here with uh, Austin Fuller. Go ahead and just go take questions from the floor. Awesome. Seven catches. Seven catches? Oh, a little pretty sore. Yeah. But yeah, it was, it was nice to be able to come in there and uh, actually contribute to the team on offense and whatnot instead of just on special teams. When did you know you were going to do this? Tell me on Thursday, I believe. Yeah. Did that change your approach or your level of pregame nerves or anything like that? Uh, no, I just tried to stay pretty calm, go out here and have a little fun. When's the last time you had seven in a game? Um, senior year of high school. What, about five years ago now? Yeah. How great did the Cones I was average, you know, I didn't make any, no big plays or anything like that. Just came out there and uh, just did my job, you know. Is it by design that they were looking more toward you, toward the outside, or was it just that's what the defense gave you today? Uh, we put a few plays in there uh, during the week, a uh, little tunnel screen. Uh, I think uh, uh, Bert, uh, Derek Thompson ran a couple uh, over there on the left side, too, and uh, uh, the receivers on the the receivers that weren't getting the ball did a good job blocking on those, and uh, so did the linemen that were pulling out. When you get the ball thrown your way that much, does that make the blocking part of your job a little easier, or the enthusiasm a little higher? Yeah, yeah, definitely. After you catch a pass, you definitely your enthusiasm goes up, and you want to, you know, just make a little more a little more effort on the on the block on the next play. Oh yeah, definitely. Oh yeah, it's a must-win situation for us now. You know, we gotta. I think I'm not sure what the I'm not sure exactly what it is, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that we have to win what we have to win all three games to make it to a bowl game. Is that how it works? I probably know better than I do. Two, we, to, we just had to win two out of three. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, hopefully we just go ahead. And, yeah, we'll, we'll go with three out of three. Did they say anything to you before the start? Like, did you write it and you can't do it? No, not nothing, nothing more than they would say to. Start. I right, guess.
was uh, good to win. I can tell you that defense played well. Thought we, you know, played hard. We needed to uh, um, control the kick return games, and I thought Mike Loftus uh, did a remarkable job kicking into the wind and, and with the wind. Uh, he did a good job to kind of nullify, you know, a scary part of their, what they do. Um, Garrett uh, ran the ball pretty well, and uh, you know, we're Zach gave us early what we needed to have. But, you know, the last couple of weeks he's done a pretty good job, uh, you know, scrambling uh, out of the pocket plus uh, running. So, you know, went into the game with a couple of thoughts in certain situations, uh, third and mediums to let him run that, that one. And I, I kind of anticipated that I might guess right on a, a couple uh, percentages that they well he you know actually he's pretty good uh, he's pretty good athlete he, he knows when they're when they're about ready to get him and he takes control you know he, he's I all constantly I'm telling him to get down get under it and he, you know, he does a pretty good job of, of knowing when he, when the, he's going to get killed. Uh, well, tonight there was designed run scoring. Uh, the, the previous times it was, uh, you know, scrambles on passes. Yeah, I was uh, happy. He, we, we wanted to play a little bit more physical in there, and uh, he gave us that. And, uh, you know, he caught the ball, he competed, and uh, he blocked well on the runs and on the screens. So that, that was good. Well, he's been uh, been doing, you know, we've, we've kind of given everybody opportunity, and it was his, his time to get an opportunity, opportunity to play. And... Uh, you know, he performed well. Mm -hmm. um, well, I told him when he was a freshman that he'd do it the last few games of his senior year so he could get it on tape for the NFL because that's what he's going to do when he gets up there. I was uh, hoping that nobody went low on him to tackle him. That's what I was hoping. All right. Thanks, guys. Ladies. How's everyone doing? Doing good. Uh, no, no, not not at all. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I think the reason they're so open is because they were slanting towards Zach the whole night. So, you know, you, I think, um, like I said, taking away Zach is, is, is tough to do. He's such a great player. And, and even with all the rants they did and all the stuff they did to try and to try and stop him, he was still able to create some space for himself. But, you know, when, with so much focus on him, it leaves a couple teams that kind of uh, I was able to find a few tonight. I don't know. Uh, I doubt it, but I doubt it. <laughs> Maybe in like Pop Warner or something. It looked pretty good. You see, I don't know if you guys saw the hurdle. That was impressive. Did a, did a nice job. I thought I thought I thought he was gonna take it to the house. Austin did a, did a great job taking advantage of his opportunity. He's um, you know, I don't know how many catches he had, but um, he was able to uh, come in and, and, and make a very make a make a big impact for us offensively. Um, Austin's been working hard all year long, um, and uh, you know I, I thought it was it was good for him to be able to get that opportunity and then and uh, take advantage of it. It, it just gives us another um, it just gives us another facet of the offense. Uh, 
like I said, when you have a back like that, who is one of the best in the nation, um, and you got uh, you got two slots like DJ and, and, and Gilney, they're able to to make some plays. And then you know tonight we added in um, they uh, they did a good job of kind of stacking the middle of the field. And, and I don't know if they took away our slots, but did a better job on the inside. Der uh, Derek Thompson and, and Austin Fuller have good games. It's just about building more and more things that we can do, and that just gives defenses problems when they have to, you know, you have to pick certain things you can stop. You can't take away it all. And then Kevin, you were saying you were going at it that way leading up to the Trump trial. Once you got out to those Bears, did you believe that you had those players on the field to make those decisions? We talked all week about when you play a team like this, you know, they, um, whether whether you, whether you like it or not, or what you know whether it's true or not, you feel like if you get a team like that down, you know they don't believe they can win. And um, so we talked all week about starting strong, starting fast. Um, we really would have liked to start the third quarter a little better, but I thought we did a good job of, of coming out. And uh, you know we we really should have had um, I think we left eight points on, on on the board in the first half, so we really should have had 35 points out there in the first half. But we did a good job of um, of starting starting fast, and our defense really didn't let them have any space to move or do anything, and we were able to make some plays. You mentioned that the third quarter they were down four by six. What happened? Is it just simply late change in the defense? No, we just have to do a better job executing. Um, simple as that. We, um, I think, um, you know, I don't know if we, I don't know, I don't believe it that we came out flat. Um, obviously, we had the, we had a good drive that, that got the, the touchdown taken away, and then we made the field goal, got that taken away, and ended up having the field goal block and didn't get any points out of it. You know, obviously, that's tough. Um, but I thought we did a good job continuing the fight and uh, finishing that last drive in the fourth quarter. How much pride do you owe to Derek Thompson? I mean, he's been kind of a special guy with the Bears defense and just being able to make some plays. Well, I mean, you always like to score first, put you up. Put you up. But, uh, no, I, I think when we're able to start fast and, and put some points on the board um, early, early in the game, um, it just it gives us some. I thought we've I think we've been a very good second half team all year long. So we can put together when we can put together two halves and start fast uh, early on in the game. It, it just gives us um, a little something extra. Robert, do you have any thoughts on the defense? Right place, right time. <laughs> I mean, that's what we uh, defensively uh, always push for every everyone around the ball because you never know what might happen. And uh, it's just unfortunate what happened. You know, they didn't they didn't get the ball and uh, it was right over it and that's about it. Thank you all. Later, man. Played good, played well, played physical. That was uh, that was the main thing after we uh, watching the UCF film and you know, didn't play as physical as we wanted to and as we thought to be. So uh, we had to change our game up to the defense to up front and do what else is you know, focus on them. Were you able to get into the talk about how you were worried that there would be other kids in the city that were able to do these things that you know maybe other receptions that they may have gotten but you ended up finding out maybe right away that that wasn't the case? Someone was thinking. <laughs> I saw the ball leave, so I tried to get it, and, and then I realized, oh, I, I got the ball. I mean, just try to get try to get out of there, <laughs> find the end zone. So. Well, I mean, uh, I had to drop back there. Watching film, you know they they were a power, powerful team, 
be up a little bit late in the second half, but I feel like we're going to be able to see ways to that. Um, and that's, you know, one of the things with the offense. 